What's going on, Phantom Portion of Cavaliers fans? This is Phantom Base coming at you with our week two prep for UPC. Um, uh, if you guys don't know, I am the coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. We are going to look up our opponent's team super duper -duper fast. He's got Superior Volcarona, Bisharp, Garchomp, Kiram, Toxic Rook, Glade, Mega Gyarados, Dust Clops, Braviary, and Machoke. And this is, by the way, um, the coach of Miami Heat Waves. So, we are bringing the team that we feel fit best to counter his team. And this week, we are going to start out with um, our Carry the Mega Gardevoir. We're talking Hyper Voice, Willow, Psyshock, and Heal Bell. This is more of our cleric set rather than normal. Mostly because the best thing I can do is to just bring it in, click Hyper Voice, and switch. And Willow has hit everything on his team that's not Volcarona. Um, Psyshock hits Volcarona. And Psyshock is Toxic Rope. Everything else literally dies to, to to Hyper Voice. Because his team has no... His team's only um, count, or counters to Fairy are double-typed with a Pokemon that, or the type that's weak to it. So literally it's just neutral. So that's going to be taking... They're going to be taking some huge, huge hits. Now next up we've got Tiny, the Cure in Black. Let me actually um, turn off the capture cursor real fast. There we go. We got Tiny the Cure in Black. Our choice scarf set again this week, but this week we are going with a bit of a different set. He's more specially oriented this time. So we are actually rocking with um, a 4 in HP, 252 in special attack, 252 in speed, and we're going with a mild or a rash nature, a mild nature, one of the mild nature, I believe, with ice beam. Let me see what nature is that. It's Rash, sorry. Rash nature. With Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, Earth Power, and Draco Meteor. Alright, uh, Fusion Bolt is there for literally the Mega Gyarados. And that's all. Because everything else takes no, doesn't do well with Ice Beam. It's there to outspeed the Garchomp. And also just to be able to, to hit really hard. Is Once again, it's our other just smacker. Now, as far as a defensive core, we've got Phoebus, the... Skarmory, who is our physically fo physical wall this week. Once again, let me. I'm actually trading someone some Pokemon at the same time, so let me finish this up and we'll be good to go. But, um, so we've rocking Brave Bird, Stealth Rock, Roost, and Roar. Uh, Brave Bird is for the Superior and the Volcarona and the Toxic Rock and the Gallade. And I'm a joke. Okay, so Stealth Rock is literally just because he has no form of hazard removal besides Braviary. And I don't see him bringing Braviary due to the fact that I've got so many mods that counter it so easily. Roost is to obviously get our sturdy back. Roar is to get rid of setup mods like Volcarona. And to phase them out so that they take a huge chunk of damage from Stealth Rock when they come in. Now, our next Pokemon is our special wall, which is our... Alamomola, Mega Love Disc Alamomola, a Regenerator, Assault Vest, Waterfall, Knockoff, Aqua Jet, because of regret from last week, um, and Miracle. If you didn't, if you didn't watch our week one battle, stop what you're doing and go watch it right now. And we should, and that way you can kind of see what's been going on. Um, oops, I dropped the page. All right. So anyway, let's pull back up his team. Now next up, we've got no Waterfall is to hit the Volcarona, and pretty much anything else that isn't Toxic Rogue for a neutral hit, except for Mega Gyarados and Superior. This thing is also meant to counter Superior because it will take a little less than 50% from a Leaf Storm, from a leaf storm and then turn around and hit Miracle, it dies in a shot. Guaranteed. Uh, we're going 244 HP, 12 defense, 282 special defense, we're going careful nature to make sure that we live as many special hits as possible. Now, Next up is our choice specs, Heliolisk Phoebus, uh, from the dry skin to switch in on things like Mega Gyarados, or, um, yeah, pretty much Mega Gyarados. Uh, we kind of click Bolt Switch to do some serious damage, HP Isis for the Garchomp, and, yeah, that's pretty much all it's for. Hyper Voice is just for neutral damage on everything, because he has only one Ghost and one normal Resist. And then Signal Beam is for Superior. In particular, and obviously this is a standard 252, 252 set with uh, a timid nature, 
and we're going spec so we get as much damage as we can. Now our final one is our other special wall. His love disc is more of a utility set as far as a, a walling utility set, I guess you could say. It's literally meant just to counter how um uh it's literally just meant to counter how superior in a shot. Now uh, Garboder is here to be a special wall and to literally just hazard stack. Gunshot and Rock Blast. Rock Blast is to kill off the Volcarona. Because if it gets two even if it gets two hits, I imagine it's going to kill it. I haven't calculated it yet, but it should, mostly for the fact that it's double weak. Gunk Shot is for superior. And for pretty much damage on anything that doesn't resist. Spikes and actually this is supposed to be toxic spikes. And we're rocking Max HP, Max Spadef, uh, for an attack with a careful nature here as well. And pretty self-explanatory. Um, this team, I feel like, can counter out all the weaknesses that we have. Or, I say all the weaknesses. Um, this team can literally just sit here in front of his team. A Mega Gardevoir can literally sit in front of this team and just smack Hyper Voice. And we'd be okay. Um... Alamomal looking to take hits for days. We can swap out and get regenerator. We've got reliable recovery here on Skarmory. This thing is meant to outspeed everything and just kill something. This thing is also meant to kill an unboosted or a non scarf guard chop as well. Because if we can predict a switch in on it, uh, and go for it, uh, HP ice, we'll be doing good. So, with that, I think that is our squad for this week. Um, once again, I'm making these videos kind of short because I have no reason to really explain too much except for the fact that I didn't explain Gardevoir's spread. One modest 252 special attack, 180 defense, and 76 HP. We want to live a couple hits. I think this allows us to live an Iron Head or a Poison Jab from Garchomp. Or a Sucker Punch. Or two Sucker Punches from Toxic Croak, I believe. And I don't know about a Poison Jab from Toxic Croak. The Toxic Crook doesn't want to deal with um, Breviary anyway, so that would be our 100% switch anyway. So, uh, pretty much the plan here, as far as win cons, Mega Gardevoir is 100% win con, and uh, I'm thinking that uh, Alamomola might be a defensive win con. To keep it alive would be amazing. And then also Skarmory. Having our defensive core intact, which is actually a 3 mon core, but anyway. I, notice, I know we don't have any physical attackers, but that's because the special defense on this team is garbage. So, and once again, Gardevoir, Hyper Voice hits everything for at least neutral. So, it's it's amazing. And with that base 165 special attack, you can't go wrong with it. So, um, with that, Gardevoir is literally here just to come in, smack Hyper Voice, and run. If we can get a Will-O-Wisp off on a lot of things, it'd be amazing. The only way he has to heal up, to be a, to have a cleric on his team is for superior to have aromatherapy which is silly so uh, Gardevoir also is running trace to make sure that we know some at least for a lead if we're going to leave mega Gardevoir is going to trace out what abilities something has um, Gardevoir Oko's Garchomp Gardevoir Oko's Mega Gyarados Gardevoir can Oko Glade Machoke um, it can two-hit KO whole Corona with Psy Shock. Um, it can pretty much, I think it could kill Superior in a shot. Um, definitely Oko's Kyurem, uh, Oko's Toxic Croak, and anything that those two can, that, and I mean, it could probably Oko Machoke, probably Oko Braviary, and Braviary doesn't want to deal with, um, our, uh, Heliolisk over here either, so it really, this team is really just going to sit in front of this team and hit hard-hitting moves, and then, if he brings in something to counter, we swap out into the counter we have. I mean, Superior can't deal with... Uh, Superior honestly cannot deal with uh, Garboder. Superior and Volcarona cannot deal with Mega or with Alamomola. So we have our squad here that can deal super duper well. Um, so I think this team is really, really well prepared for this. So uh, if you're hyped for week two and hope that we can make our bounce back, because of our little haxi loss. Um, make sure you leave a like at the bottom of this video to show some support for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. And if that's all it's been from me, I'll see you guys tomorrow with our Week 2 battle. Bye, guys.